You've got to tune to the Midday Show. We're listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle, online around the world at kexp.org. And it's always a great day at KEXP when we've got crocodiles live in studio. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Uh, nice so to great to have you here. And you got some music in your pocket? Uh, I do, yeah. You're like, maybe not in my pocket. I've got an eight track <laughs> that I keep in my back pocket for All emergencies. Right. We'll take it away. Like glitter in my veins Maybe 
Crocodiles live on KEXP. I'm just over here with the stupid smile on my face. <laughs> it's not stupid. It's beautiful. <laughs> That's what you do to me. Thank you so much. Man, Thank a you. Cr- an awesome album, Crimes of Passion. But I just have to say another great album. You just keep kicking them out. Thank you. Thank you. Try our best. <laughs> You've released five al- or four albums in five years. Are you just always writing songs? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we don't have any friends besides each other, <laughs> so that's, you know, it keeps us out of trouble. You know. We started as a duo, but you've got uh, some friends with you here today, and uh, you sound great as a five-piece. You want to introduce uh, some of your new yeah, friends? Yeah, that's Robin Eisenberg on uh-huh. organ, Marco <laughs> Gonzalez on the bass, and Robert Motri on drums. Well, welcome, and Brandon and Charles, of course, and Crocodiles have a new album out called Crimes of Passion, and... Uh, I heard that you worked with one of our favorite folks on this album, Soon Rose Wagner of the Ray Vonettes. What was that like? He's awesome. Yeah, that was great. Um, he, sorry, I'm like trying to tune and talk That's at the right. same time. That's all right. That's all right. I can pat my stomach and rub my head if that makes you <laughs> feel better. Yeah, he was he was a friend already, um, so it was pretty comfortable from the get go. Um, yeah, we just did it in his bedroom, and surprisingly, it just went ultra fast we did it in five days and i mean we spent a lot of time like barbecuing and drinking and doing non-recording stuff so that sounds great you did that you say in california yeah in la in mount washington i think is the name of the neighborhood in la and uh he's got like yeah a really nice little house and we just did it in his bedroom didn't you do your last album in berlin yes we did so mixing it up yeah you know we like to uh to see different parts of the world and (laughs) And, and leave our little mark, you know. And work with different people because it seems like kind of every other album you have, uh, you always probably have a hand, a big hand in making the record, but you've worked with someone to produce it kind of on every other album. You've done it by yourself, then you worked with someone. Yeah, on our second album, we worked with James Ford. So we've kind of like, first album was us, second album was a producer, third album was us, fourth album was a producer. So I don't know. I mean, I, I think objectively, I think it turns out better if there's a producer. But I mean, we're capable of it. <laughs> Obviously, you've proven that. But it must be nice sometimes just to have a, a third person kind of lending an ear. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Especially someone like James or Suna who, you know, they're musicians in their own right and they have their own track record. And Yeah, I mean, I think they just take songs and make them better. And, you know, um, sometimes it's hard to look at your own work objectively and, and go like, oh, this part's not as good as it could be, you know, because you're like, well, I wrote it. It's great. You know, so. <laughs> Now, I love to say that you're from San Diego because I love San Diego bands, even though I've never been there before. It must be something in the salt air. But you don't live there anymore. Is that right? Or No, Marco still lives there. Um, I live in New York now. Robin lives in Berlin. Chuck lives in London. Um, and Robert lives in London as well. It sounds like a really cohesive album. I mean, how does writing happen when no one's living in the same city? Um, I mean, Charlie and I do the writing and we, we just send each other demos over email of, of stuff we've been working on, like whether that's whole songs or just a riff or, you know, like I have this verse, can you write a chorus? And we'll go, you know, I'll go to London for like a couple of weeks or he'll come to New York for a couple of weeks and we'll demo stuff and just kind of work periodically throughout the year as we're touring, we'll, you know, exchange ideas and stuff as well. So 
It's not as hard as it sounds. It sounds like the a great The magic life. of the internet makes it. it. Sounds like you're not home very much. I'm not I'm not home very much at all. And you've got a lovely wife at home, and she's on tour quite a bit as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So. I see her probably like a week out of the year. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. But you guys have a record label, Zoo, and, and this album out on Zoo and French Kiss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Are you putting out other Friends albums as well, other good stuff? Yeah, yeah. Um, we did the last Dirty Beaches record, and we're going to reissue um, an old record of his called Night City. Um, we have a... Dee Dee and I have a side project called Haunted Hearts, and um, we have an album that's actually being mastered today, so that should be out probably next May. Um, yeah, and there's a band from Denmark called Gay, who's like kind of television personalities ask they're really awesome we just played with them the last tour so we're doing a seven inch and yeah we have a couple projects coming up exciting you're all so incredibly busy and we're so happy that you made time to come by today thank you thanks for having us thanks Cro- for the support crocodiles live in studio here at kexp and some more music Yeah. 
Smiling. I hope you loved it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was great. It was great. <laughs> the new Crocodiles album called Crimes of Passion. It's always great to see you. Thank you Thank so you very much. much. Thanks for Thank having you. us. That sounded great. Thank you. Thank <laughs> You've you. got it tuned to KEXP Seattle.